of course. I, I remember one iconic moment with both of you. I'm watching MTV Road Rules, and yeah. <laughs> you're, you both are on this program showing these people who are trying to travel around the country and become real-world people on the road, but they got involved with the WWE, and you two were involved in the situation. What is that like? Because MTV, again, at this time, the hottest programs, the hottest network going yeah. for a certain demographic. So how did you get involved? It was so funny because somebody from the office came up to us and they said, hey, we want you guys to do, you know, this thing on MTV. We, I mean, we knew of the show, Road Rules and stuff like that, but we didn't know to the extent that we were going to be on the show. And then once everybody else found out of it, about it, they all jumped on the bandwagon with us. So that's why we had so many other people when we were in the ring and stuff like that. They just told us that, you know, you're going to introduce them to the square circle. So... We just went with it and just it, everything that we did was on the fly for that. Wow. Yeah. And we were, and the, the greatest part was, is we were still part time. We didn't have full time contracts yet. And they that filmed that. They filmed that. No, it was in Calgary. Cause Calgary. It was in town. So they filmed it in Calgary. So they flew us all the way up to Calgary the day of the pay per view just, just to film that, to, 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 to do all that stuff, which was a blast. And it, the other funny part is we got on the bus and those kids were like, oh, wrestling, this is going to be easy. We're like, dude, you have no idea. And we legit, we laid everything in as if they were regular workers, guys we were wrestling every night. We laid everything in. There was no old punches. <laughs> it, it was funny, too, because, you know, we went up to the producers of the show and stuff like that. We were like, where's the line that we draw? You know, how far do you want us to go? They, and they, that's exactly what they told us. They said, treat them as you would anybody else. So we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, those poor people. Uh, I, I remember watching them, like, oh, because, you know, I still am, but obviously at the time wrestling was the biggest thing it ever was. And then I'm like, oh, my God, like, here are the headbangers on MTV. The two things I love so much are crossing over. And you said this was filmed in Calgary. So this is 1997. So you're talking about yeah. this was filmed on the pay-per-view in your house, Calgary Stampede? Yes, that was it. Wow, I'm surprised they were like, "Oh, come on in!" While wow, we have a pay per view uh, prepping for. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah we a... did it. We did it today at a pay per view. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And you said you weren't under contract. We were under. We were under a part time deal. So what they were doing was, as Glenn mentioned earlier, they brought guys in because they wanted to make the matches more competitive. So they signed a bunch of guys. It was like Al Snow. Um, they had, Hopper. Or they had dirty they had TL Hopper, they had um Freddie Joe Floyd or whatever. They came up with the goon. That's when they had all these these guys coming in. So they would build them. The idea was to build them up to this high on TV. So then it looked like they were they could win. So we, so you remember the Saturday morning matches when you just see the guy getting the shit kicked out of him? Oh yeah. Which, which we did for you know, years. Loved what it. we did when we started. <laughs> um, yeah, so they wanted to try and make it look like the matches could be competitive. Like like the goon would has actually has a chance of beating Shawn Michaels. That's kind of what they were doing. So that they signed all those guys to part time deals. So it was just TV deals. You got so much money for TV. That's what they originally signed us for was to do that. Um, and then out of all the part time guys, we were the only ones that were signed full time after that. So yeah, when we did the Calgary thing, we were. Still part time. WrestleMania 13. We won WrestleMania 13. We were still part time guys. We weren't even under a full time contract. 